Sorry, Santa. We got an early sleigh ride for this old boy. What's up, guys? Chris and Chad with his bounty coming to you guys today with a gear review video. This is a, uh, a piece of equipment that has really made our lives easier in the deer woods and out. Yeah, we started using this piece of equipment here. Uh, I started two years ago. I think we got him one for Christmas a year ago and he was yeah. able to use it last hunting season. Uh, I'll show you what it is. Very versatile. They are the uh, Chappelle Jet Sleds. And as you can see, mine right now is in the bed of my truck and it's full of my hunting gear. I've got boots, uh, climbing sticks, quiver of arrows, my backpack, just anything I take on a hunting trip is in, in my sled right now. Which is very nice about it is I still have other things in my bed as well, but I've got all my hunting gear right here. So when I show up to hunt, I slide it out just like you just saw and everything's organized. I can grab it in a hurry and, and be in the woods. You know, one of the, I do the same thing with mine. Uh, all my hunting gear goes in it, slide it out, and grab my stuff. But one of the other uses I found for it is going camping. You know, having this camper shell, it makes life uh, tough sometimes. You know, being able to keep the bed of the truck clean and not having to climb up in there. Uh, with the deer, you know, been fortunate enough to take some, some deer. Uh, I was able to get a bear last year. They went in the sled. Kept the bed of my truck clean, didn't have to worry about the rest of the stuff in the bed of my truck. The wood chips, the wood shavings, the bark, all of that stays out of the bed of my truck. Oh, my wife uses it, with, she's a beekeeper, and my wife, has been, she drags her bee supplies back and forth across the yard with it. <laughs> uh, when it's not on the back of the truck, but during hunting season, we don't go anywhere without it. You know, it's always on the back of the truck. It doesn't get to make the hunt itself, but it's on the truck waiting on us uh, if we're able to, to tag out. Yeah, so even now, I mean, being end of August now, mine's probably been on my truck already a month, but uh, that's just due to scouting. It's got uh, game camera boxes and my scouting backpack in it and stuff now, so everything's uh, right here where you know where it's at. Uh, we're constantly going to each other's houses and shooting, and I've got a, uh, a gun rest in here right now. Um, but like uh, Chad was saying, the really nice thing, um, they got me mine for Christmas uh, the year before last hunting season. And I killed two bucks last season that I was able to use it and drag them out with. And one was, I was a mile and a half back uh, public land and killed the deer, got, got it taken care of. And I was able to hike out, you know, pretty quick, um, just straight to the truck, grab the sled. They don't weigh nothing, you know, when they're empty, and just dragging them is a breeze. Uh, really, literally one-handed. Getting sleigh rides today, boys and girls. There was an old an old road in there, and I brought that buck out by myself. Uh, my dad, he met me in there, but I drugged the deer the whole way, just kind of by myself. The deer I killed up in uh, in Highland, it was. Uh, me and dad together and there were a couple of big logs and stuff where we could just lift it right over top of it so it really made it made it nice um, but as chad was saying once the deer's in this you can use a board or anything just to lay on the tailgate slide it up in the truck to get your deer in your truck so you can literally load your deer by yourself and it keeps all the blood and any mess inside this sled and you're not spending the next hour after you get home spraying out your bed and then letting it dry so even if you need to pack them with ice you know you can pack these coolers with ice um, if you know early season it's warm or you catch an unseasonably warm day uh, later in the season but you need to keep them on ice before you get home uh, these sleds you can really throw the ice to whatever's in it i mean the bear the bear you killed last mm -hmm. year i came out to see it and uh chad and uh his father-in-law was my father-in-law and uh they they drug what that bear weigh 300 pounds 300 pounds on the nose and two guys drug it out and you guys were probably a mile we were a mile and a half two miles in on national forest um 
in the bottom you know obviously when we shot he rolled to the bottom of the hollow so we had to get him uh, about 200 yards to the road up out of the hollow that took a good hour and a half hour and 45 minutes just to get him to the road I don't know too many people that's all that's drugged 300 pound bear with just two people right. um, and we drug him completely out on our own uh, with the use of the sled See you at the bottom. I came out uh, that evening to see the bear and they'd already packed him, his insides and all around him with ice. Uh, he was going to get skinned the, the, net the following day. Mm -hmm. So he was able to pack this thing full of ice, keep ice on it all night long. And uh, it wasn't losing any water. Kept all the, all the blood and all the water and everything in the sled. Yeah, they make a couple different sizes. Uh, Chappelle, they make a uh, couple sizes, but the one I bought, you know, I've got a five and a half foot bed. So I bought the one that just does fit up in the bed and I'm able to shut the bed of the uh, the tailgate on the bed but the deer fits fine I mean obviously a 300 pound bear uh, several bucks you know a couple nice bucks inside of them there's we've even my brother and I the first year I used one my brother and I doubled up on does during bow season <laughs> we went and his was further away so we got the sled we went and hooked up the threw his over in the sled and then got mine and come dragging out of there with two does. Um, both of them fit in here, you know, was able to, to drag them out. Yeah. You know, you would have, typically you would have drug one deer at a time. We would have drug one to the truck and then went and got the made other one. two trips and spent yeah. half a day yeah. dragging deer. We made one trip with two deer and it was easier than dragging one deer at a time or yeah, two so deer. It's really a great multi-use. It's not just, you know, like Chad said, it's not just for hunting. He puts his wood in it. We use them around our houses, around the yard. They're really durable. I mean, I used mine all last year in the rocks and stuff in the mountains. Uh, we hunt the Virginia mountains, which you can see it's got a few scratches and scars on it, but it's going to be good for another couple years. And they're not they're not overly expensive either. So if you guys are looking for a good piece of equipment that'll you know help you getting the deer out and doing some chores around the house, then check out the jet sleds, guys. Excuse me, Chuck. But uh, we're going to be bringing you guys some more videos, just some review stuff. Be sure to subscribe and like the videos and live blessed.